Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be reacting to the NHL 19 official trailer and I'm going to be talking to you guys about some of the new features in the NHL 19 as well. So it was released today at the NHL awards ceremony and I've already gone and watched it over a few times and I came up with a list of things I want to talk about in it. For a lot of us, this is where it all began. So already right off the bat, we see three outdoor rings side by side to one another. They look pretty empty, but this gives me a sort of NBA 2K My Park kind of feel, but it's like a My Pond sort of game mode. It looks like this is the setup for the new one versus one versus one free for all mode, but I could be wrong. Hockey was a way of life. So next we get another piece of information that basically confirms that Frostbite isn't in the game. The new Frostbite engine that everybody was hyping up to be in NHL 19. It doesn't look like it's going to be in the game this year. Maybe it'll be in next year's game, but who really knows? Another new piece of information that we see in this part is something that's really exciting and that's being able to customize what your player wears in maybe the new outdoor game or maybe uh, in some sort of other games as well, uh, like in threes. But uh, I think this is a really cool concept and I'm excited to see how it's actually implemented into the game. I heard John Law say there is about 900 different customizations that are all unlockable and that you won't be able to pay for them. It's sort of like a uh, grind to win or not really win, grind to look the best. Uh, so you can't buy these items, uh, unfortunately or fortunately, uh, depending on what your outlook is. But uh, this is going to be really cool and I'm excited to see how it's implemented. So this gives us a look at how the one versus one versus one setup will look. Uh, looks like one zone of the ice and I'm not sure if the goalies will be computer automated uh, all the time like they are in EASHL right now or if we will get to play as the goalies because I know uh, for sure that would be fun. For me anyways, I'm not sure about you other goalies, but for me it would be a lot of fun uh, facing three people at once with no real defense. It would be quite the challenge. So now we're getting actual gameplay glimpses and this one is going to focus on the skating which has been a big issue for a while now in the EA NHL series and they've said, EA have said that they've really taken a stab at fixing the skating this year and so far the reception between the game changers has been pretty positive so I'm pretty excited for that and I'm sure you guys are too. Uh, maybe they finally got it right this year. So now I'm going to go into things that you guys might not have noticed from the end of this trailer. First up, right here you can see, is this a five-man celebration that we're looking at? I know that it's probably been seen in past trailers, but I think with all the demand and it being in the trailer, and this looks like it could be legitimate, will we finally see five-man celebrations in EA NHL? It would be really cool, and I hope it is an actual feature this year. And secondly, do you guys notice this weird sort of skating stance from Carlson? Well, this is what I was talking about with the skating. They have real player motion tracking skating now uh, so that it will be realistic skating and crossovers will be able to generate speed and you'll actually feel like a real hockey player. And I'll talk more on that in a bit, but it looks pretty cool, not going to lie. And I'm really excited for this one as well. So in the reactions that I watched prior to making this video is a lot of people sort of misunderstood from the pawn to the pro section. My personal interpretation of this is that it's not going to be this be a pro thing and I doubt they're really going to tweak be a pro at all. However, I think this is just going to be a thing saying that you can play from the pawn to the pros anywhere in NHL, uh, but it's not for certain. Welcome to 
And lastly, we have the legend right there, Mr. Wayne Gretzky, uh, because legend teams will be in the game now. I don't know, somewhere over 500 legends. I'll talk about that in a second. But some interesting stuff here from the trailer. Uh, P.K. Subban on the cover there. Uh, I think it's a, it was a really cool trailer, and it gave us a real interesting look at some of the new features in NHL 19. But now I'm going to talk about some of these new features. So first we have ones. For the first time in the EA NHL series, we'll be able to play in NHL ones where people can play in a one versus one versus one free for all gauntlet. Basically a mode where there's a goalie and three skaters all playing against each other. Uh, and it's really a mode just to showcase your skill more than anything uh, and your creativity more than anything. Uh, so in this mode, there's no rules, no stoppages and no limits. So it's gonna be nice continuous Good flow of gameplay throughout, and overall, I think this is going to be a really big hit. A lot of people are saying it's going to be exactly like threes. It's going to die out in the first few weeks, but honestly, if it's good enough, I feel like this mode will be one that sticks around. A lot of people play by the end of the game. Next, we have the RPM technology, which is basically the new skating system, which gives you explosive edge skating, uh, and it allows you to generate more speed and how much speed you generate using your edge work, such as crossovers and stops. Uh, with the new animations, uh, you experience more responsiveness in your acceleration, high speed skating, and pinpoint turns, which means uh, Connor McDavid will feel like Connor McDavid is what I'm hoping this means. Uh, I'm not too sure, but that's what it sounds like, which is honestly a huge upgrade because the skating has been lacking for quite some time and maybe this is the year where we finally start seeing players separate from one another in terms of skating and lastly the legends have arrived you can now play with over 200 legends spanning over the 100 years of nhl history and you can build your dream team and i'm assuming these items will be available in high i know that players like gretzky are available uh, as hut cards if you pre-order the game uh, Legend or Ultimate Edition, and you can pin the superstars of today's game uh, playing along the stars of yesterday or the 100 years ago, so you can you can put Clayton Keller and Eddie Shore on a line for some reason. Why I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you can, uh, which I think is honestly, I don't really care for it. I've never really cared for the legends in the game. Uh, I'm more focused on the gameplay itself and the fun I'm having, but I think uh, for the older fans, this will be kind of good too, and I, I guess for the younger fans. Uh, I'll try it out a bit, but honestly, I don't really care all too much about it, uh, but I know a lot of people do. And that's about all the information we have on NHL 19 so far. I'm sure we're going we're gonna to be getting new information in the weeks following and the weeks leading up to release. Uh, the release is scheduled for, I believe, September 14th. Uh, which is, we kind of expected that. It's usually around the second week of September, and it's usually a Tuesday. Uh, but that's about it for NHL 19 stuff. Uh, so I thought the trailer was really cool, and I think the features are really cool, but until we actually see them in action, uh, we won't know for sure. So I want to hear what you guys think about NHL 19. Do you think it's going to be another roster update, or do you think that this is the year where NHL really actually starts to get the ball rolling and they actually start making some really good games again because honestly, we could use it. Leave your feedback in the comments below and I will catch you guys all in my next video. Peace.